Good morning, Eleanor. Good morning, honey. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, you're fully engrossed in taking a bath. I get it. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt you. Oh, you're so sweet. Hi. Look at those eyes. Where's Buddy? And why isn't he yelling? Because I'm talking to you. There's Buddy. Oh, bye, Buddy. Good afternoon, guys. Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. It's a breezy day. You can see by that flag. It's snapping up there. It's a very windy day here in Las Vegas. I have the front door of the house open. I have a security grate so the cats can't get out, but uh, they love to have the breeze coming through the door and they love to smell the air. But uh, it was blowing uh, sand and dust and stuff into the house, so I had to close that door. Uh, the line for the post office is longer than I have seen in a very long time. So I think, I think I'm coming back tomorrow. So, well, not tomorrow, Monday because I have to ship out an eBay sale, but I am unwilling to stand in that line. Really? Is it that long? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Um, it's a very long line for the post office. Uh, but I've got to send out an eBay sale. It was just a little uh, figurine of a, of a, it's a Lennox figurine of a raccoon climbing in a tree or something. I don't know, but I've got 20 bucks for it. So I'm kind of hoping this is all um, passport stuff. I don't know. Oh, that was an hour in the post office. An hour. Almost to the second an hour. Um, I did have an opportunity to have a very nice conversation with two uh, senior ladies. Uh, they were both very, very kind and very sweet and patient. We had a nice, nice chat. Interestingly enough, we had two trans people in line behind me, a trans man and a trans woman. Uh, and, um, you know, it's, it's just, it, it uh, struck me and reminded me, like, trans people are all over the place. I mean, everywhere. And you may not recognize when someone is trans around you, a coworker, a friend. Ugh. And I, so many people get so worked up Oh, the wind just closed my door for me. So many people get so upset and so worked up about trans people and how dangerous they are, how they're out hunting young people and blah, blah. I'm like, these trans people, as much as anybody in the LGBT community, we all come from straight people. Like, <laughs> straight people bear us. Straight women bear us as their babies. Straight men help produce, you know, what they do to produce human beings, which are frequently LGBTQ, blah, 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 blah. There's my, my, uh, editorial for the day, but I was just, I was struck that, you know, we had two trans people in line and, uh, when you know, you know, and, um, just, you know, it just seemed like two people out of say 30, or it, it seems, do you understand what I'm even saying? All right, good. I'm hungry. I'm always telling you how hungry I am. Uh, it is, uh, now it is, let's see, what time is it? Oh, the time, hold on. Yeah, it's 2.53 in the afternoon. I haven't eaten anything. This is unhealthy. <laughs> like, my diet is terribly unhealthy. Like, I starve myself, I don't eat, I starve myself, and then I eat a regular meal and feel guilty about it. That's not healthy. Wait a minute. I've got those uh, kind bars. <laughs> I got those kind bars that were mailed to me and got yesterday. Well, that will rescue me. All right, so I'm not quite sure what I'm doing today, um, but I'll see you when I see you. All right, see you soon. Oh, love my shirt. Don't you love my shirt? I know. More Goodwill. It's a little uh, linen, um, Lime, fluorescent, lime green. Uh, oh, I just noticed the buttons button down. The collars button down. Let me button these. Um, all right. I got to eat something. I'll see you soon. Man, it's blustery. It is so crazy. The wind here in Las Vegas. It's awful. There was a number of trash be uh, trash uh, containers out in the road. Of course I'm a Goodwill. Of course I'm a Goodwill. 
Yeah, I found a bag of polyfill. The stuff that you would fill like a stuffed animal with. Uh, I bought a bag of polyfill. Big giant bag for like two bucks. It would have cost me, I don't know, $12, $15 at a craft store. I used that to pack up fragile items like the little figurine that I shipped out today. I use that. I pack it around the item so that it's not causing any pressure like bubble wrap would on fragile points. Uh, and then I wrap that up in bubble wrap, put it in the box, and then I stuff the corners with more polyfill just so that there's no shifting and moving around so that uh, it is the item arrives at its destination safely. It's inexpensive when I find it here. I would never pay full price for polyfill. But uh, yeah, that's it. So I think I'm going to go home and heat up some of the noodles and cabbage I ate last night for dinner because I am starving and it's time that I eat something. So I'll see you later. It's a couple hours since I saw you last. I've just eaten dinner, more of that cabbage and noodles, delicious as leftovers. Uh, none of my um, swap requests were um, approved for the first day of open time based on seniority. So I'm submitting 20 additional requests for swaps and picking up trips. So just, oh, we'll find out tomorrow. Wish me luck. Hi, buddy. What? <laughs> and hello, little girl. How are you doing, sweetheart? I know, buddy. Eleanor is so sweet. Oh, buddy. And of all of my requests, one, two, three were approved. So let's see how that affects my schedule. All right, so here's my schedule in the box on the left. The first trip is a chaser trip, a 320 chaser, so I'll be position D. That's defined by the position, that L9489. Uh, <clears throat> that's all righty, so well, that's a little blurry, sorry. I can't pull out from the screen because I can see other employees' names and numbers, and that's not good. So uh, this is my new schedule. So the first trip, L9489, um, that uh, little dash under EWR lets me know I've got a 24-hour or more layover in Newark. I've got 20, almost 26 hours. But um, that pairing, L9489, is a chaser pairing. Somebody always asks me what a chaser is every time I mention the word chaser. Uh, so on a 320 aircraft, we require th four flight attendants. In this position, I will be the fourth. That's position D. On a regular pairing that incorporates three main crew members, that's L3652, if it starts with an L3, that lets me know there are three flight attendants that make up the basic crew. Uh, this is because most of it, we originally had a lot more A319 aircraft, Airbus A319s. They require three flight attendants. A 320 requires four flight attendants. And that fourth one is what we call our chaser because they chase aircraft and they chase crews. I'm going to try and show you one sec. All right, so this is that first trip. The first leg is Vegas to Newark. The next day is Newark to Orlando, uh, Orlando to Charlotte. Uh, the next day is Charlotte to Las Vegas, Las Vegas to Orange County. I think SMF is Orange County. And then Orange County back to Las Vegas. So that's six legs. I could theoretically work with six different crews for each of those legs. So that's kind of why we call chasers chasers because we chase airplanes and we chase crews all right let's look down here oh that houston trip so down here this is the only real negative i have to really 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 work on it except for swapping out of that last trip uh see where it says credit 73.25 the original credit for this line had 81 point something hours credit so this is a significant drop in credit, which means a significant drop in money. Uh, so, but I've got 15 days off. <laughs> That's good. Uh, so I'm still tomorrow uh, going to try and swap out of that trip, L3467, because I really don't want to do that trip. It's a long trip. It goes to Honduras and back. And uh, this, 
other reasons I can't share with you right now. Uh, but so that is what I have to work on tomorrow for my my uh, my schedule for next month. <laughs> Look at my buddy. Whoop. Did I wake you up? Did I wake you up? Oh, he's quiet, so he's probably still asleep. <laughs> Cats are enjoying the open door, but it's, see how Buddy's smelling the air? But it's really chilly outside, so the door's gonna have to close. Sorry guys, I'll give you four more, a few more minutes. Well, it's an overcast, windy, and very chilly day. It's 62 degrees. That's the high today, 62. I shouldn't complain because I'm sure it's much colder in other parts of the country, but I'm actually contemplating wearing pants. I'm wearing shorts. I'm not walking around my undies, but I am wearing my new uh, cardigan, this fluffy, fuzzy, it's a perfect, perfect sweater for today. A little um, polo Ralph Lauren Kind of a boring button down, but not everything I have has to be fluorescent pink or lime green. So I'm feeling very like librarian today, but uh, let's see, hold on. And finishing off with a black penny loafer. Whoop, whoop, what's going on? What's going on? So I left the house, I'll tell you about that in a minute, but I came back for a little while and I uh, thought I'd let the cats get a breath of fresh air and something out there has caught their attention. I wonder what it is. I wonder what it is. Is it a bird? What is it? Did it leave? Alright. Sorry, guys. Alright, so I put together the ring light. Well, let's see how that... Oh, that's nice. That's good. Uh, I think that's full bright. There we go. All right, this is good. This is great. Oh, no, no. Oh, uh, oh, uh. okay. Well, how do we get back to just white? Is this like my Christmas tree where I have to go through every possible lighting set setting to get back to normal? Okay, there we go. All right. Yeah, so this is a big win. This is a big win. I think I paid... I don't know, $16, $18 for this ring light with the cell phone holder. Um, I'll try and get a picture of it. Yeah, hold on. So I paid $32 for it, but it, it rises up, I think, 72 inches. It's a 12-inch ring light with the uh, phone holder. And uh, it's very sturdy, very stable. It's got a huge wide base. And uh, yeah, that's a big win. Very excited. Hey guys, how are you? So I decided to leave the house a little earlier and I realized just now that I was giving off a little bit of Mr. Rogers neighborhood vibe with this cardigan, but uh, so I left the house earlier today with no real goal in mind, no directions, which is never healthy because I always end up at a Goodwill and I ended up at a Goodwill, no shock. And um, oh yes, babe. Yeah. Oh, hi, honey. Did you want to come and say hi? Oh, buddy. No, you don't but I'm gonna make you anyway. What's that? <gasps> Hi, buddy. <laughs> he does not like to be held. Look at his face, isn't he handsome? Here, I release you. Uh, so, what was I talking about? I left the house. Um, I ended up at a Goodwill. I bought nothing. Eleanor, do you wanna come up and say hi? What was that? What was that? You don't wanna be picked up either? You don't want to be held either. What was that? You're beautiful. What was that? Eleanor is better about being picked up these days than Buddy is. She is more used to it now. She still doesn't love it for very long. Yeah, I know we're talking about Eleanor. Of course you have to start yelling at me. Mm, there he is. Bye. You going somewhere? You want to get down? Okay. Say bye. Say goodbye. Okay. Here. <clears throat> what was I talking about? What was I saying? The cats distracted me. The, my cats are my life. My life belongs to my cats, so no complaints there, but they distract me. Um. Oh, I was telling you, I went to Gogo. I didn't find anything. 
these days it's very hard to find anything good in the Las Vegas thrift shops. Now, you know, I used to find amazing things left and right. These days, it's so hard to find anything. Uh, and I'm not going to waste my time reselling something that cost me like $5 to sell it for $25. That's, I'm just not going to waste my time. Uh, but um, I think there are so many full-time thrifters here in Las Vegas, and there's only so many items of quality that are being uh, donated. So it's hard to find stuff these days. So I find great clothes, but... <clears throat> Fun stuff for, you know, knickknacks and things. I really don't find, like, china. I used to find amazing china, amazing figurines, but hmm, not in a while. Um, so, I walked out of Goodwill without buying anything. Which brings me to walking out of that movie. Was it just yesterday? I walked out of Poor Things because the movie was just disturbing. I popped on Facebook which is not something I do very often these days. And I ma just made a quick post like how I walked out of a film. It's been decades since I walked out of a film. And let's say four or five of my friends that know me and I know them and respect them, they were all like, oh, you had to give it a chance. It was a great film. I gave it a very good chance. 45 minutes, I think I gave it. Um, oh, it, turned, it was an amazing movie at the end and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I just didn't need to go where that movie was taking me. Like, when you find out where, because they're, they're reminding me, it's a Frankenstein kind of, you know, loosely based movie. I'm like, yeah, I know. Uh, where where this uh, doctor got the brain for Bella, do you know where the brain came from? Google it if you didn't see the movie and don't plan on seeing it. Where does the brain come from? That alone was enough to make me just go, no, I'm not watching this. I gave it a few more minutes, and then she did that thing with the apple and then the cucumber, and I was like, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm toast. I felt like I had to defend myself for having an opinion because the movie won an Oscar. <sighs> Whatever. But I'm never going to see the remainder of the movie. I don't care what happened after I, I left. Um, all right, so it's 4.30 in the afternoon. I just finished my dinner, which was amazing. It was the final bits of the cabbage and noodles that I made the other day. Apparently, two days is the magic hour to leave those in the refrigerator and then eat it. And oh, oh my God, so delicious. I'm following it up with dessert, which is something I don't do anymore. Oh, Eleanor, excuse you. She just bumped the camera. Um, I don't eat dessert outside of my birthday with that birthday cake. But I did get a rice cake. It's a chocolate sprayed rice cake with like a teaspoon of peanut butter on it. So that's my dessert. And uh, so I'm about to finish this and then head out to a meeting and then to the gym. So I don't think I'm going to have much more to share with you. Today is the, of course, I keep talking though. Uh, today is the last day of my vacation week. I'm quite content with having gone nowhere. I have stayed up till probably three or four o'clock in the morning each night, playing video games, watching YouTube, watching movies, hanging out with the cats, waking up at like noon. <laughs> <laughs> whenever I want to, and then doing whatever I want to do all day. It's it's practically been like a cruise, honestly. Uh, oh, speaking of cruises, <gasps> my friend Lori, she's a co-worker that I just absolutely adore. She is a precious, precious woman. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> she's an amazing, amazing human being. Well, she loves her cats as much as I do. And uh, one of her cats, also named Buddy, apparently is ill. She is on a cruise, and uh, so she's very upset, as you'd imagine. This is like my nightmare. Every single time I leave for work, when I have a four-day trip, there is a, a moment where I think, oh, my God, if anything happens. That's why I have these cameras all over the house. If anything happened to especially Buddy, I love Eleanor. I love her so much. I love her, love her, love her, love her. But Buddy is my soulmate. He is. He was my first and he is my soulmate. If anything happened to him while I was gone <gasps> to come home and see. <sighs> so I just, I wish her Buddy the absolute best. If you send out those prayers and things into the universe Feel free, send one out for Lori's buddy. Uh, but uh, I am going to finish this, um, go to a meeting, because I have not been to one in a very long time, and then hit the gym, and I think that's going to be it. No, I, I have to uh, make sure my bag is packed, 
my device is charged and up to date and everything is ready because I go back on reserve for five more days. Uh, and um, so I want to have my bag packed, my device ready to go in case they call me like they did a, a you know, week, week and a half ago. So blah, blah, blah. I think that's it for this video. A little all over the place as normal, but some of you seem to like this weirdness. So I will see you later. All right. Fly safe. Bye. Mm-hmm.